Hi, my name is Nick Dietrich. We're at Key and Table, and today we're going to make a Virginia eggnog. Uh, start with half a dozen eggs, and you'll want to crack and separate. So you have the whites in one bowl and the yolks in another. If you want to do it Chris Hanna style, you can just run it through your fingers. Sure, give your hands a quick wash. And now we're going to take a little bit of fresh nutmeg. Uh, you'll want to use fresh because it's far more aromatic when freshly grated than if you buy the pre ground stuff. And uh, just take a microplane and grate about half of a nutmeg onto your yolks. Um, you're going to build everything uh, with the yolks and then vigorously whip the whites so that they uh, stand almost, almost like a meringue. Um, and then fold that into the rest of your dog. Now once you have your nutmeg in there, you're gonna take a whisk. You're gonna beat the yolks until they're thin, almost the consistency of water or just a liquid. about that. Next, take half of a cup of sugar, incorporate that, and then your spirits. Now here we're using one half of a cup of El Dorado 8 year and one cup of Palbo VSOP. And uh, you want to use, for the holidays, a high quality cognac. I recommend the Palbo VSOP or Guillaume Pantero, um, something along those lines. And you can find those uh, at Keefe & Company is a good uh, retailer for both these products. So now that we have that pretty well incorporated, we're next going to add half of a cup of heavy cream and one cup of milk. And stir that in. And you can see that it's kind of loose, and that's why what we're going to do next is set this to one side and take our whites and beat them until they're almost a meringue. Now you can use a stand mixer with your whisk attachment or a uh, immersion blender, which is what I prefer most, because this will wear out your arm. And you'll want it to go from a, almost a yellow hue to very white. And if you're concerned about using raw eggs, don't be. The spirits cook them. It's a far more elegant method of cooking using cognac rather than fire.
And an apron is preferred to wear this because it could get messy. Okay, so now you see they've gone to almost a white color and their consistency is very fluffy. And so we're going to take our nog back and we're going to slowly spin it while we pour in our whites. And this is going to give it that really nice, soft, silky texture. And if you want to put this into flip top jars or bell jars or anything like that and seal it airtight, it will keep in your fridge for a number of days, three or four. All right. Now, use a, a teacup or a punch cup to serve. You can pour it directly from the uh, jar if you choose to store it that way, or you can serve it from a, with a bowl and ladle. Your Aunt Gertrude would probably prefer the bowl and ladle. And you can see how the consistency changed from that loose batter to something a little richer right there. So, with your teacup brimming, take a little bit of your nutmeg, grate it across the top. This is where it's most important to not use the ground, pre-ground stuff, just because you will realize when grating it how aromatic and pleasant it is. And there you have it, a Virginia eggnog.